Hi, and welcome. Today I have another special guest, uh, Melissa, who is an author and a consultant, wife and a mother of two boys, and after experiencing loss of four babies through miscarriage and stillbirth, she took the steps to um, grow an inspiring uh, business um, and to start writing and self-publish her own personal stories. And she was also uh, part of this amazing book collaboration with me, um, Joy Recipes for Abundance. And uh, yeah, she's changing lives. Um, Melissa is on a, on a mission and I'm super inspired, um, you know, uh, when, when, I, when I see her stories as well. So I'd love you, you know, Melissa to share a little bit about her path. And this is obviously the interview, um, helping people understand what it takes to become an author, to be an author, what is the journey of an author and how can it impact yourself as a, a business owner and um and how can it impact others so welcome melissa thank you so much Sven. very happy to be here <laughs> and you're right on the other side i know <laughs> yeah yeah what's the beauty about you know reaching out globally and being able to mm -hmm. serve other audiences i guess as well so yeah amazing, amazing start off um you know you so you how many books have you now got out there i think it's more than two isn't it yeah so um uh, i've got my own book and i've got um two uh two of the uh, others that i've um collaborated um uh, or published um and collaborated um uh, and i've also um been part of another two collaborations um plus joy so that's three collaborations now so that's one two three four five <laughs> or so five six that's yeah awesome. so that's awesome so and and so what um I mean, that that was probably going to be my last question in the end <laughs> what inspired you to to be on a collab versus writing your own book maybe you just <laughs> can do that well, for that now yeah so well basically well firstly i wrote my own book um it started because I, i've experienced um uh pregnancy loss so i've you know i've had um, a journey of you know pregnancy and um i've got you know, two children as well um but before i had my children i had a stillborn you know, baby and um I didn't go and see counsellors or anything like that, but um, you know, I had to get, get rid of my grief. So I just started writing. And then once, um, you know, like I did some blogging, things like that. And once, um, you know, my children were born, you know, like my husband said, well, you know, you've got all this writing, why don't you just write a book? So I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> I started writing a book, but I just didn't know you know all the processes and things like that and um then basically i um i saw, somehow got it together and then um the other book books kind of follow they actually collaborations that i've actually published myself um and they're of the journeys of people who have also struggled through pregnancy loss um so you know basically it's it's a, a journey of you know trying to help other people also write their own stories um because i know that you know writing is a you know very healing type of process so, about to say yeah that's you know basically that's why a, <laughs> I, I think it's probably not being said enough or, or realized enough that actually writing is quite healing and um mm. I'm not a big writer, to be honest, myself, and um, I would have found it hard actually to write a whole book myself. I guess hence that's why I'm um, I'm doing collab books and hosting those. Um, but when I did write my story as well, I felt like really connected, and I really felt like mm. I could make that impact and really leave a legacy and and a meaning as well, and yeah so so i absolutely resonate with what you just said in terms of it is very healing um and it yeah. doesn't always need to be perfect it can be in your voice right in your your own authentic exactly. voice it doesn't need to be a school book or anything like that <laughs> that's right 
doesn't and, have to be perfect it's just yeah it's your, you, you you're unique and yeah exactly and and so what what was the reactions from the different books um because i i, I do know i follow you on social media and you know you have so many comments and so many more followers now and especially people who really resonate with your story that you you were able to help them as well right yeah well um so yeah i've um i think the biggest impact i had was with um um comfort for the tears which is the se the second collaboration that i did um because that you know there was a lot of um there was a lot of stories that were very you know very touching and you know meant a lot to other people and um the um you know i had you know those books the, the first you know two collaborations that i did i had them you know um you know sent around the world basically and you know they were downloaded by you know hundreds and hundreds of people and you know they were also you know sold to the people that actually wrote those books as well so i had hundreds of books you know just sold to you know those you know those contributors so you know i think i think they um i think yeah they they made the biggest impact and you know got me a lot of you know opportunities as well um you know you know being able to speak um you know having you know getting into articles you know you know meeting people like you you know just getting into other um other collaborations as well you know writing my own blogs and stories and and um you know starting my own you know business things like that so um yeah it's just oh, wow. so a bit of a business business world. After, after after your first book you wrote first then um no i no the the actually the business actually flowed on from the book so you know i wasn't planning to write to start a business at all it just kind of i just had this um this i don't know like like a urge or epiphany you know um you know i just had this thing where you know i was coming across a lot of people that you know wanted to write their own story but they just didn't know how and you know they didn't know where to start and that type of thing and because i've you know kind of you know been my own and published my own and i could lead them on that journey so you know i've you know been able to help people start their own writing their own stories and you know get it to a publishing stage so yeah that's basically here yeah, how it kind of started really brilliant and that's brilliant yeah so and and yeah i, I just want to obviously i want to show your um page in the joy book because the joy book um uh, is 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 quite we've broken up oh right it's still it's still recording <laughs> still recording <laughs> so there's a joy book yeah as soon as i showed the joy book where we had some technical glitches um and <laughs> And Melissa, um, you write about over the rainbow. So, it, yeah, uh, it's it's a beautiful illustration, and um, yeah, very. Yeah, I mean, just to talk about your story a little bit. It is, um, you know, quite deeply touching. You want me to talk about my story? <laughs> yeah, I mean, what you what's in oh, oh. a little bit in, in terms. Oh, okay, of, yeah. So, so uh, yes, yeah, so a thousand words. You have one to each chapter is about a thousand words, yeah. and then the author has their uh, double page, and and so it continues. So yeah, my story is um, is over the rainbow, and I I actually got the title because um, of my my grandma. Um, she passed away last year, and um, I had this. Um, she she liked the 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 song um somewhere over the rainbow so um that's where i got the the title from and you know inspired me because we were you know writing and you know i'm um, getting the book together around the same time so um that's where that came from but also because um there's a lot of color in my life whereas you know like when i got married i talked about my you know getting married and the wedding day i had a lot of color 
Um, and, you know, that's, you know, colour is really joyful for me. So, you know, it makes me happy. And um, um, the, you know, and because I had um, my, my two sons after, you know, the pregnancy losses. So um, we call, um, like if anybody doesn't know, you know, who was, hasn't gone through pregnancy loss, the babies that are born after pregnancy loss, we call them rainbow babies. So that was like another, um, you know, kind of thing of you know, why you know, all this colour and, um, you know, over the rainbow type of, you know, metaphors, I guess. So um, that's, yeah, that's basically what my, my story is, you know, the happiness, um, the joy of... Um, you know, getting married and then, you know, having having my two sons that, you know, really, really make me happy. Oh, and, me, and that's why you wrote about your the colourful um, love pudding. Uh, I'm going to read it out. Yeah. Uh, which, the, this, these are the recipes. That's why it's called Recipes for Abundance because they're, it's it's a recipe with a gist which you will will just yeah. notice in a minute so basically it's a bunch of happy memories a portion of laughter a lot of love one jar of hundreds and thousands two children with a dash of cheekiness <laughs> lovely yeah there you have it and that summarizes your story and yeah so thank you so much melissa for um being here and for sharing and for inspiring others, continue your amazing work. Where can people Thank find you, you online? Um, I'm on Facebook, um, Melissa Devo, um, or you know you can uh, get in contact with me through my uh, website, which is uh, melissadevoconsulting.com um, or melissadevo.com. Um, but Facebook is probably the easiest. Yeah. Brilliant. We'll leave a link somewhere near near the video as well. And uh, yeah, and for those that are listening in who are now inspired to either write their own book, they can go to, I guess, Melissa and get in contact. And um, if you're interested in some sort of collaboration and you may not be quite ready to, to go out uh, in, into the big world on your own and you want some handholding and be together with 24 other authors, then there will be opportunities coming up um, in my next two books. So uh, reach out and inquire. Uh, depending when when you are listening to this video where you're at but uh, right now I'm still looking for a number of authors for the next two books so thank you so much uh, Melissa and uh, have a wonderful day we'll talk yeah, you too thank you all right thank you bye-bye